What's up, y'all? I'm Kwani, Sean, and this is View Twins 1. Yep, and if you didn't know, now you know. And today we're coming at you with E3 2012 info, uh, at least what we know about it so far. Yep, and uh, before we get started, we just want to say that this is a very special video because it is E3 we're talking about. Yes. Like you said, it is the Super Bowl of gaming for the gamers, just like the regular Super Bowls for, you know, sports fans, like football, for example. The Duh. But it is like the Super Bowl for gamers, and this is real big for these gamers. Um, E3 is next like my Thursday, June seventh, if I'm correct. Yeah, and a big reminder: this Friday, June first, at 8:30 p.m., we, be, we will be having a game night. The first game we're going to start off playing is Call of Duty MW3 at 8:30. Uh, so make our way to Black make, Ops. Yeah, make our way to Black Ops All Stars. Plus some games. We'll probably just be chilling on PS Home at also. Um, but yeah, just add me as a friend. My PSN is in the description. The online cases, and uh, June first on the 8:30 p.m. We're gonna have a game night. Everybody's yes. invited, especially out there subscribers. Thank but, you for everybody for supporting us. Yep. Uh, yeah, let's get started on this E3. It's been almost a year. I think it's been a year since our WWE 12 and E3 info video. Yes. So we said, hey, since that one did so good, let's do another one this year, and we're gonna just keep do continuing to do it throughout the years of Review Twins 1. Last year it did so well, and I want to thank you guys for showing that love, and we love you guys, and uh, let's get started. What you looking for? I'm looking forward to, to the underdogs of uh, the E3 and of the game, and the underdogs that really don't get no love in this game. I like hope that it gets a lot of love, but the underdogs companies, I want them to change the gaming world at E3, you know, just come out with a game that, that will sweep everybody off their feet. You know, a mixture of everything. Yeah. I, last year, I was looking forward to four games only. I, was, I, I wasn't, I you know, really worried about any other game, but Uncharted 3, MW3, Battlefield 3, and WWE 12. Every other game, didn't. I didn't care about it. I was just looking forward to them, the trailers, the gameplay. But then again, like now, I'm gonna be looking. I'm be open-minded about every game because no homo, because you know Skyrim won Game of the Year. When I first seen that last year, E3, I was like, that's gonna be a game for nerds. Like Minecraft, that's just a game for nerds. So I'm not even gonna worry about it. But it won Game of the Year. So now you can't judge a book by its cover. So I'm just looking forward to every game at E3, every game and every console at E3. So I'm not I'm just forward to the consoles. I'm not just focused. I'm not just looking forward to WWE 13 and. Black Ops 2. I'm looking forward to a lot of stuff. They just announced the right to claim today. PS PlayStation just tweeted it and Facebooked it. It's a new right to claim coming out. They got a new picture for it. They got a picture for it, yeah. And uh, to see the two duo come back together is going to be crazy. But I'm looking forward to make a, a Jack and Dexter, you know, Naughty Dog. I can't wait for uh, The Last of Us. I know they go show some gameplay next week. Yeah. Man, it's, it's going to be a crazy weekend. E3 land on a Thursday. The on Thursday last yeah I don't know so, but yeah. on Thursday but so. in the comments tell us if you if you what you look forward to E3 if you're going to E3 if you are you are lucky you're a lucky son of a bitch and uh, uh, what you look forward to if you're going and what don't you like about E3 like do you think they're hiding stuff or could they show more stuff what do you think about E3 honestly I think it's like Christmas to me it's like Christmas coming early for the gamers and even though they don't give you it, like present, you still see like the stuff that's coming. Cause they don't only announce new games; they announce DLC for games that's already out and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to the consoles that's coming out. I hope P PlayStation announced the PS4, Xbox announced the 720, and I know they already announced the Wii U. I want to see what that does, cause I really don't know what. I don't think they're gonna announce that this year, but next what, year Wii probably. We know the PlayStation Pro, Xbox 720. I don't think they're gonna announce it this year, but next year. But Rockstar, I think they're going to do something big with GTA. Yeah, I forgot about that. GTA yeah. 5, right? Yeah. yeah. But this is a quick video just, you know, getting to y'all. I'm The games I'm looking for, WWE 13, especially I'm a fan of WWE 13. I'm a fanatic of wrestling. Um, wrestling 6, The Last of Us. Uh, what else? I'm not looking forward to any. I told you, I'm just looking forward to every game. I'm not picking no yeah, every game, game, every game, every game. Every uh, game I, I, I know uh, 
EA probably will come out with something instead of sports games. Fuck the online I know. passes, EA. Nobody wants to pay ten dollars for online pass. Why do we have to pre-order for online pass? Even I though know, I haven't uh, paid for online pass yet because I pre-ordered all my EA games, I haven't paid for online pass yet. So I know stop, I got quit it. it. It's, it's, it's waste of time. You're just cheap and and it just make you out to be cheap. Stop with the online passes. Nobody wants. I just want to pick up a game and play online. I don't want to yeah. have to pay ten dollars. And I know uh, EA Sports. They they coming out with an All Star thing. I saw it in a shoe store. An All Stars. It's gonna be a game with baseball, NBA, yeah, basketball, basketball, football. NBA is basketball. Oh yeah, my bad. NFL, you know, stuff like that. Off topic. Uh, follow me on Twitter. At Q U A N E Y K, that's Kwani K, at Kwani K, and me at S H A W N K N I G H T. Yup, it's no space. I need some, uh, some trainers for skateboard because I, I recently got into skateboarding and you know, I barely do an alley with it, but yeah, it took a lot of truck right. fit. But yeah, uh, but I'm looking forward to what EA has to say because they had a lot. E3 last year was crazy. I think it was crazy. Um, Xbox conference started off with the Modern Warfare 3 gameplay of Black Friday, I think it was. And I was out of my seat. Yeah, uh, but last year I thought, I knew Sony had something in store for everybody. But the PS Vita, I knew they was going to announce something. And they announced the PS Vita last year. But this year I think we are, I think Nintendo or uh, Microsoft is going to do something, announce something they big should. this year. If they don't, then. They really don't rush their stuff, but if they do, then they really want to put, you know, an exclamation point to PlayStation, saying that the PS Vita or uh, PlayStation is not better than what they about to announce. If they announce the Xbox 720 and the PS4, I hope they don't rush it. I think they are because it's a co it's not a coincidence that the Xbox dropped down to hundred dollars when they when E3 is right around the corner. I think it's something big in store for Xbox coming. Probably a handheld. And they kept they kept it on down low, but um, yeah, E3 video. I thought, man. I thought the PlayStation video was gonna come out with SmackDown on every console, excluding the PlayStation 3. Like the Xbox say, hey, PlayStation video is better than that. We got everything in, that you have, but this big. I thought the PS video was gonna but do tell that. But tell us what you want to see. Yeah, but the PS video, the PS video didn't do that. He, he at talks all. a lot. The, yeah, the PSB didn't do that at all. It is a it was a big disappointment. The start of games. That's all I wanted to say. But just tell us what you want to see at E3 this year. Like consoles, games. What, what games you want to see? I want to see that that PlayStation Battle Royale with uh, uh, Kratos, Sackman, all the exclu exclusives. I bet they got a uh, they got Drake in there. They can Drake camera right there. I'm trying to think that's why in what else? What else? My bad, I'm just kinda of lost right now. Yeah, but this is a quick video. We just want to get this out the way. We want to say thank you and, and God of War Ascension, I'm looking forward to. Yeah, uh it's it's I think it's been a year. No, no, it hasn't been a year. I think next month we'll make a year a year with uh us making our debut on Straight Up Reviews channel. And shout out to Straight Up Reviews. Shout out to Straight Up Big Boy, Big Homie. He, he brought me on this gaming thing. Uh we just want to say thank him. We want to thank him. We want to say thank you to him thank for allowing us, to, allowing us to be on this video. Thank you for the haters. We got a lot of hate on that yes. video, but we got much more love on that video. And we gained a whole bunch of subscribers. We want to thank you guys for sticking with us. If you're still with us and our subscriber base from straight up sending you here and you're still with us to now, then I, I want to thank you because a lot of a lot of people that got sent from straight up unsubscribed, but then. Other than that, the ones that we earn by ourselves, we want to thank you guys. You guys yes. are close to my heart. And we are. It's no, in the world. Yeah, nobody, nobody sent you. We earned you for ourselves. So, a special place in my heart. But you, Twins One, straight up reviews, best in the world. I told just before, you should already know, best in the world, straight edge, man. Yeah. So you tell us if you're going to E3, what you like for E3, and what, what you want to see, what you want to see, and what you're expecting, and what, what, uh. What don't you like about E3? He keeps talking. What don't you like about E3? Hey, tell us, tell us, uh, what's your favorite exclusive from Xbox or PS3? Always. Just leave. And if you like this video, thumbs it up. If you don't, thumbs it down. All right? Hope you guys enjoy your E3. And until next time, we all review Twins 1 and you're not.